What's up guys? I've been away. It's been a strange couple of months. Zappa is no longer with me. I had to miss out on the Thailand trip due to a personal emergency. The Bali trip has been postponed. It should be going on right now. Now we have a global pandemic. Yay 2020. Since work has slowed down for a lot of us, I have a lot of free time, so let's dive right into some creative ideas in the time of coronavirus. Look, we all have limitations on what we can accomplish with the resources that are at our disposal. And part of doing production work is focusing on how to achieve what we need in camera, within the budget, and with the gear we have, the crew, the cast, and everything that is accessible to us. So what are you supposed to do when you can't be around any other people? When there's nobody around to help with the camera? When you have no actors? Well, it really is a great question. So if you watched the earlier video where I talked about getting out and being around other creative people and artists who do different kinds of art, you're probably thinking, well, that's all out the window. How am I supposed to do that now? The short answer is you can't, you gotta be safe. But you can do solo projects with the things that you might already have access to. For instance, everybody now has a camera phone, so there's no reason that you can't start shooting video on there. And before anyone says, well, I have an old phone and the phone I have, the camera sucks and any other excuse you could come up with, let me stop you for a second and just say that no one cares. They don't. They really, really don't. So there's really no reason why you can't just start shooting things, whether it's in your room, in your apartment, in your house, out in the barn, in the garage, out in the backyard, wherever you can. There's no reason not to do that right now. Remember that some of the most entertaining things that we see on the internet were not shot by professionals. A lot of it comes from being in the right place at the right time. And since so many of us are stuck at home right now, the place you're in is right for the time, right? Who wrote this? Potato Jet once told me that to get his momentum going on his YouTube channel, he would put himself on a deadline. For instance, he would wake up in the morning and decide, by 4 p.m. today, I'm gonna have a video done. I'm not sure if he actually said 4 p.m., that might have just been an anecdote, but he avoided anything that would keep him from completing his goal. No TV, no YouTube videos, no friends, turned off his phone. And what he was doing was called creative limitation. And creative limitation is a technique that's used by artists and creatives that works by purposefully limiting yourself to drive your own creativity. As an example, there's a Russian composer named Igor Stravinsky. He did this with time signatures in the composition titled The Rite of Spring. It's back in 1918. So let's listen to a little bit of it so that you get the idea of what I'm talking about. Pretty crazy, right? Now, if we listen to a little bit later in the song, Now you might notice that there is a measured level of chaos. Ooh, muffins. Never made a muffin before. Totally worth it. Never made a muffin before. Totally worth it. You can see there's a level of chaos and tension that builds throughout the music and I realize that music that's a hundred years old doesn't really vibe like the Kanye's or Taylor Swift's of today for most people. I mean this song is 30 minutes long. But if you give it a chance you might be able to see what I'm throwing down here. So what if you're not a musician and you don't even know what a time signature is? I've spent some time watching numerous creatives in the online space doing tutorials and everything from metal lathing to epoxy resin creations to a saw blade launcher and my personal favorite guitar riffs. 
And many of these people, I don't even know. But the important takeaway is that it's not always about the camera work. That being said, some that I follow and watch regularly besides Chris Rollins and I became friends on a shoot last year, and I really enjoy his content the most when he blows up. Now, he's in a rural area, and the laws are more relaxed there than they are here in LA, so he gets to do stuff that's fun that I could never get away with here. <laughs> so, check this out. Whoa! Are you okay? And then, of course, he did this. Now, before you run out and take apart the lawnmower, figure out a way to do it safely before you do any of this kind of stuff. And maybe check on your local laws to make sure that you're not gonna end up in jail over doing a video. Another one that I watch regularly is Annie's Art Studio. When I met Annie, she was doing 3D modeling and I was working on my graduate thesis and I needed to add some 3D creatures into my thesis film. In the time since then, she's gone all out on the art outside the computer. And she has something like 50,000 followers on Instagram, 30,000 subs, but check out what she does. And if, like me, you're a fan of the huge guitar solo, then check out some of these guitar players. So hopefully you got to see that none of these videos that I showed you required any crazy camera techniques or any sophisticated equipment. At most, they require safety techniques. I'm looking at you, Rollins. But hopefully you've got the idea. Find something that you think is cool and start recording it. Or if you're an expert in something, find a way to start promoting that. Baking, foreign language, shoe art, hedge trimming, Remember, there's an entire channel dedicated to pimple popping by Dr. Sandra Lee, and she's got over a million subs. I don't even like to throw. I don't even. I don't even like to think about it. And in a last ditch effort, there are tons of free or cheap classes online. Check with your local library for free online content that comes with your library card. Here in LA, a library card gets you access to a ton of ebooks and lynda.com, which I think is now LinkedIn Learning. Other online companies have subscriptions or one time class purchases too Masterclass, Udemy, which has some free ones, Skillshare. There is a ton of content out there to kickstart your brain. So, metaphorically speaking, kick yourself in the head. Get that gray matter going and put yourself in a position to be way ahead of the curve once we get past all the current unpleasantness. Now I'm going to link to all the videos and channels that I've showed you, so check them out. And if you like them, give them a follow and get out there and make some magic or make some noise or make something happen. Who cares? Do it. Just do it. Why are you still watching this? You should... Just kidding. Did you think I was gone? Did you care? Well, 
Anyway, I talked more about this recently on Jeff Moore's podcast. I'm going to put that link down below too, even though I didn't get into it in this video. We talked for about an hour and a half on ways to survive in the time of the coronavirus. So check out that link below. I don't know if that episode will be up by the time you check out this video, but uh, maybe bookmark it. Come back to it. He talks to a lot of great people, so I suggest you check it out. If you're watching this, I don't know why you wouldn't.